Hi and welcome to my video. This is what we made last week. We made one of these, but it's a giant version. This is my design. It, it was it's a big pit. It's a big pink Bigfoot, and on the back there is hearts. Look, there is pages. So that is in the last video. And today we are going to be making table tennis or table tennis bats. And all you need is, is, one, is one of these ping pong balls, which will be your ball. Then you need a pair of scissors and two pieces of cardboard about this size. Then you need to cut out a handle, like this. And then cut a round shape to be the top of your back. I'm not the best at cutting out round things, so this may look not totally round, but if you're good at cutting out round things, then you might be able to do this a lot better than me. This is one of my bats. Now where did I put that pink ball? So, cut out two of these, one for each player. And we, in ours, we only have two players, in ours, but you can add three and four and five and six and seven and stuff like that, if you want, if you want more people. these two bats cut out now then you color 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 in your bat and stuff I'm gonna go for a red bat myself I'm gonna go for an angry bat for this bat And I, and I will start fast forwarding now. You could paint it. I would have to do all the drying and the you because I would think. You just have to come back and say, now it's dry. I like, I like the Sharpie because they're a lot easier. I really like the Sharpie. You can, you can do this with paint. But I have chosen to use a felt tip because it's much easier to, to, to draw detailed things like I want to draw on my back. I'm not going to fast forward this because I have a lot I need to say about this back. It is very flobbery. You can do whatever design you want. You can use whatever you want to colour the cardboard. You can make any design you want. You don't have to make my design. You can you can actually make a net, but 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 but, but I don't know how you balance. Uh, you you get you get a few gla you get a few mugs and you put it around and you put them around a, a stick with some tape or 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 anything you want to hold it up, and then you put and then you put some st string diagonally across across those two sticks. I mean, I'm actually going to do a video of how to make that after this one. If you want, I haven't made one yet. All of these is the first time making. So this is what, and this is what this this, this series is going to be all, all going to be. Me making things on YouTube. We are nearly done, so there's really no point of fast forwarding this, is there? I guess, and it would just take longer. So, this 
what it's going to be like. Fast forward. Now I'll fast forward it. It's being fast forwarded now so we can talk. Okay? I'll cut in I'll cut ahead in the video to to when I've done to when I'm done colouring this. Bye. See you in a few minutes. Hot. Welcome back. I just I just I just finished colouring in these bats. But because the felt tip ran out of ink, we use this. It's a it's basically a gi a giant fake a, a giant paint splatter that, that, is, that works a lot bigger, bigger and a lot better. So I did some angry faces on here, and now I'm gonna give. And now I'm gonna. I'm I'm gonna give you some footage of us playing. And mummy is with us. Hi! I will serve first. Okay. Ooh. And that was a bad serve by me. <laughs> Let's just do it. No, I think, we've got to... I think if we've hit it down. Yeah. Not right, like across and. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Hey, hey! Whoa! You can be pretty lethal with these things. I think so. That was a bad serve by Mummy. Work. Hope you like making them. Bye!